guys so today we'll be having a fun episode i have some some questions here which were written by my nephew so i will try and answer them but before we get into the video please listen to this message from hello welcome to Fornex travel and tours your trusted adventure partner it is one of the most exotic tour agency across the globe now with Fornex Travel and Tours, you get to have amazing experiences and even make memories with activities and packages such as hotel booking and accommodations for your birthdays, anniversaries, or any other special day. Other activities include air ticketing locally and internationally, game drives and safaris, as well as tour guiding. Karibu sana and we are ready to serve you. Let's get into the video. I'll just be picking a paper here, then I answer, then pick another one. Okay. So the first one. <laughs> Can you confess to your crush that you love me? No, definitely no. I'll be dead if I do that. <laughs> Die and resurrect, uh, uh, not resurrect, what is it called? Reincarnate as a ship before I tell him. Yeah, so that is a no. I feel like girls were never meant for to handle rejection. And that would be so hard for me if I confess to my crush and then they said no. So that is question number 11. We have 15 questions. Next one. Is there someone in your life that you feel like you don't tell enough that you love them? Probably, probably, yes, many people, my parents, siblings, yeah, I, I think I have a lot of people that I just don't remember to tell them, you know, I, I love them, a lot of my family members, yeah. So I do have people I don't tell enough how I love. The next one is, have you ever been depressed? Probably, <laughs> probably. I don't know if there is someone who has never been depressed. Like, bro, are you living in an ideal world? Yeah, I think I've ever been depressed, but not really, like, maybe, a little much but not too much you know not until to those levels that people become maybe suicidal or cut themselves yeah not to those levels but i think i've had my low moments very many but then there was a very big one in let me say 2020 to 2021 a very big wave of depression yeah another one I'm trying to finish before we get to 15 minutes. Yeah. Next, who is your favorite musician and what is your favorite song? My favorite musician, I'd go for Ed Sheeran, even though I'm that person who changes. Favorite song, Graffiti, Overpass Graffiti. I love that song. I think it's because of the video. And yeah, it is a good love song. Graffiti, Overpass Graffiti. Yeah, that is my favorite song. Let me say for now because we do change lots and lots of time. Next. What is your ideal wedding like? <laughs> my ideal wedding. I, I always thought about having a wedding, uh, a lakeside wedding. So preferably if it's in, if it is in Kenya, it would be around like Naivasha because it looks so good. Around like Naivasha and then a gown and go for a gown that is mermaid. Those mermaid you know, girl. I need to show myself. <laughs> yeah. A mermaid a mermaid gown. Um it should be around like Naivasha or any lake for that matter. Mm -hmm. I do. I think I'd go for invites only, <laughs> around 400 people. Uh, what else? What else? 
what are, what are the details do I need to go to? Details, deco. If I'd be having money, oh god, if I'd be having money, I'd go for those. You, you see those weddings, very luxury weddings that have silver, like everything silverware. And yeah, like those, those good things. That is my ideal wedding. Mm -hmm. What else am I supposed to put on ideal wedding? Bridesmaid, six. I don't know if people are usually given numbers, but I'll go for six people. And uh, what else? But the, yesterday, no, not yesterday, but the day before yesterday, I actually had a dream about a wedding. Ha, I'm going to details. <laughs> anyway, let's go to the next question. Do you prefer living in Kenya or you couldn't hesitate any country abroad or overseas? That is question number 13. If I'm rich enough, <laughs> rich enough i'll live in kenya yeah i feel like that there are some parts of kenya that you can really live in and you know enjoy your life if i'm getting a land in vipingo why should i move abroad but then if i if i have a chance to go abroad i'll definitely choose a country in europe i love switzerland yeah like those are the kind of climates that i would choose climate landscape you know i'm i'm someone who loves nature i love hilly things hilly landscapes so i'll choose switzerland i feel like it's so fresh got it yeah so definitely if, if i'm if i have a chance to go or if i'm told to choose a place to go to i'll definitely choose a country in europe preferably switzerland next what is your favorite movie, animation, series, and best actor or actress? My favorite movie... What movie do I love? Movie... I think I've watched a lot of movies. I even watched these YouTube movies like about romance. Hmm. Favorite movie... I'm not sure. Animation, I'd go for Ron's Gone Wrong. Ron's Gone Wrong, yeah. Because I love mountainous things that you know, and it's definitely a story of a very good friendship. Series, I'm an ad, I say good doctor. <laughs> Best actor or actress. Do I have any favorite? I don't know. Movie, movie. Oh, I'll choose Half Brothers. That movie is good. Watch it if you want to watch. Half Brothers is very good. It's a comic. Yeah, comedy. It's a very good movie. And then it also shows about family, family and friendship, acceptance and other stuff. Mm -hmm. Question number one. What is your ideal future like? Ideal future. Which year are we talking about? Maybe 2035. <laughs> 2035. Mungu wa I My ideal future, I think I'll, I'll want to have ventured into, into real estate. If I have... A, okay, ideal future. So what I'm, what, what I'm expecting. I have a family. I have like two or three kids. <laughs> oh my god, I know your mother. <laughs> Two or three kids. Yeah, definitely living a life a life that I like feeling like Cassid! Just kids are jade or gig. Cause you know the video young. Okay, as we were saying, I did future. I did future two kids real estate, you know, I have my cars. Yeah. I I um I what what cars? Maybe a Lexus, Lexus, then Mercedes C-Class. Yeah, I love Mercedes C-Class. And uh, what else? I have a house, um, how many bedrooms? Maybe five, you know, but in a good neighborhood, living in a good neighborhood. Um, hmm. 
bank account nine figures <laughs> nine figures uh a loving husband definitely yeah and i hope my family you know like my siblings are also doing well at that time for a moment yeah so the next question what is your biggest dream my biggest dream biggest all those things i've mentioned about the ideal future and then i think if i if i need to go like a little bit overboard i think i need to have a chopper yeah so that that will be my biggest dream and i will i will learn how to fly and god learn how to fly and have a chopper Cessna. mine mine and mines next question this is number six what are you so proud about yourself so far I think it is my ability to overcome peer pressure. I'm not that kind of person who is, who is easily influenced by people. So that will say I'm proud about myself. And the fact that I accept myself for who I am, yeah, that is also something to take pride in. Yeah. And I'm very persistent. Persistent, yeah. Next do you have a, f a favorite family member and why i don't think i have a favorite family member you know like i just love them maybe not can i say equally because you know there is someone you love for for something else and someone you love for something else that is that comes sumbufu but you still love them <laughs> yeah and uh, a few days ago i was watching a tiktok that was saying if you were to be given three billion shillings to sell your one of your siblings who would you sell and then i thought like i was saying my brother and then i'm like no but i wouldn't wish them to suffer for anything yeah so i think that speaks how much i love them i love them i don't have a favorite definitely because there is one day someone annoys you more than the other Another day, he or she is your best friend, so you don't have the rights. I love you guys. <laughs> Next question. This is question number two. If the day after today was your last, what would you want to do this evening? Have dinner with my family. If the day after today was your last day, what would you like to do this evening? So, I definitely say dinner with my family in a very secluded place, like you know, somewhere around Mount Kenya, in a good hotel. Yeah, that would, like you know, just saying bye to everyone, having the last good times. Yeah, so that is what I'll choose. The next question, this one I answered, okay, I mixed. What is your best and worst first date? Best first date. <laughs> Take it to a favorite spot. Worst date. The most terrible you can imagine. Oh my god, I can't even, like, you know, maybe I'll tell a story about it because it is like, it was so terrible. I don't even want to say what this guy did. Do you have secrets that could really upset your family? Maybe they'll be mad for one day, but then they're not so big. <laughs> yeah, I think some of the papers have gotten lost. I found two more that had fallen, so this one is what do you love and hate most about Kenya? I love the fact that we are unified to some extent. I love this <laughs> and I love, you know, um, the landscape, climate, yeah. And what do I hate most about Kenya? I think politics. I'm really, I'm a big hater of politics, yeah. 
for that to be it. Have you ever encountered wababas? <laughs> and how was your experience? Yeah, a lot, a lot of times. My experience is usually a no. Yeah. And I, and I think the worst thing about me is like if someone asks for my number whoever it is i usually just give it out and then i'll come and block them so uh, there are those people who still find a way of contacting me severely yeah and it's really annoying yeah so that's it that was the final two questions but yeah so that is it for this video and thank you for watching yeah i hope to catch you later if you haven't subscribed please do yeah help me to get to 500 subscribers love you bye